This is Ariel. Hi, Ariel. You want to say hi? No? You sleepy? She's missing one hind, a whole hind leg and part of another. She's, she gets around, she basically gets around on her front two legs. It's a lot of work, but she does okay. I think when you sit here, you, you know, you might hear, oh, there's a lady that has 25 dying dogs in her house. This isn't a sad place. This is a very relaxing, uplifting place. My name is Michelle Allen, and I'm the founder of Monkey's House, a dog hospice and sanctuary. My husband and I have been fostering and owning older and sick dogs since about 2010. We pull dogs from shelters who have terminal diagnoses, and we use great vet care, incredible nutrition, specialists, medications, um, rehab, whatever it takes, and lots of love to give them the very best last chapter of their life. At the moment, we have 25 dogs on site. We use a variety of therapies to help our dogs feel as well as they can. Everyone's fed fresh. Not everyone is fed raw. It depends on what's going on with their body. So some are fed lightly cooked food. We do stuff with herbs, with supplements. They see specialists. Smiley is a very sweet, older dog who doesn't really hear, he doesn't see very much, and he has horrible arthritis. We got a micro bubble machine donated to us through a, the generosity of one of our fans. This is something we're able to offer dogs that normally need antibiotics to help manage their skin issues. We don't receive any grants from the state, um, nothing, nothing like that. It's all done through pro private donations. I think the dogs know what's going on. I think they're much more intuitive than, uh, than, than even people are, even about dying. Dying here is, for us humans, it's gut-wrenching, but for the dogs, it's actually pretty beautiful. And we've had some amazing things happen. One of our dogs had, um, she would have this internal bleeding. She had something called hemangiosarcoma. And it's generally a wait-and-see kind of thing. And this dog was, laying on the floor not feeling well and I was laying there with her and all of a sudden my, my personal dog got up and went and laid next to her and she put her head on her on her very gently and they weren't like a touchy buddies kind of a thing and then our pit bull Parker got up and he joined in and I kind of like backed out to to watch it and it was incredibly moving like they all were just surrounding her with love and with peace and it was it was pretty wild uh, we've had several times where they're, as they're in the dying process, the other dogs will take their turn saying goodbye, nurturing them, laying in their bed with them. It's, it's very special to watch. They're so willing to love, to forgive, to make the most of everything. As they start to decline, um, they don't seem to mourn what doesn't work. They're, they're happy with what still works. As much as it hurts to lose them, it would hurt more to know that we lost the opportunity to experience life through their eyes and to love them. There's home care for people all the time. If you lose a leg, there's a physical therapist that comes out to your house. We don't have that with animals. So we're trying to offer that, trying to inspire people to care because I, I don't know what could matter more.